Yes, sir. I'm uh, with J.B. Hunt. My name's Charles. I was just wondering if you would be interested in looking at different driving opportunities with us here at J.B. Hunt in your area, see if we can get you more home time, better pay, things of that nature. What you guys got available? All right. Well, let's do some uh, pre-qual questions, and then we'll go look in here. You got the, you're got you at least 21 years of age, obviously, or older, and you've got the Class A. Um, how many months of Class A experience do you have in the last five years, Sean? Seven. Seven months in the last five years? Seven years. Seven years. Oh, so you've got the uh, 60 months in the last five. I got seven and, years uh, all together. Seven years all together? Yeah. How many in the last five years? How many? Well, how, how, many years how, in the how many? Five? How many? How many what in the last five? I've been driving for seven years total. How many months in the last five years of driving? experience seven years total <laughs> that's what i'm saying seven years continuously total oh, okay so 60 months in the last five years you were driving all the months yeah so it'd be 60 months in the last five i got you yeah and uh none of that was straight truck no tractor and trailer. how many yes sir, that's where the money is uh, how many uh, jobs have you held in the last three years? Three. Three? And are you looking for a company job uh, or independent contractor? Or what are you looking at on that side? Nah, I'm just I'm, I'm just seeing what you got available. That's all. You, you, I'm yes, gonna call me. yes, sir. We'll, we'll go with company <laughs> for that. Um, any movement violations in the last three years? No. Any uh, careless or reckless in the last three years? Oh, well, no, or you wouldn't be driving. Uh, any preventable accidents in the last three years? No. Any rollover in the last 12 months? Well, no. You said you didn't have any preventable accidents. No. Um, any DWI, DUI ever? No. No uh, DWI or DUI ever? No. Okay. Let let me uh let me let me flip the script on you, man. Um Oh yes. Because it sounds like you're putting me in the system and I don't want to be in the system. So let me just flip the script on you. Uh so you're calling me from JB Hunt. Uh what positions that you guys have available for drivers? Right. I'm one yes, sir. Uh, I'm one question away from being able to to go look at those. Well, it, it, you, I, I don't want to be put in the system, though. Well, well you already were in there. Uh, uh, by re we requested uh, some information on yeah. driving jobs. Yeah, but um, I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to be, I, I, I don't want to be put in the system because this is like the second time you guys called me. And, you know, and the young lady then was able to tell me what was available without even asking me all these questions that you're asking me. So I only got my own certain number of questions that I that that I only need to be answered without being put in the system. You you follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm oh. one question away from the pre-qualifying you to drive with us tonight. We can go job well, that, shopping. That's, that's what I'm saying. I I, I don't want to be put in the system. I just want to know what job, what what positions that you have available. That's all. All right. Right. So, I mean, obviously, I, obviously you called me because there was a position either in my area or a position that prop popped up that that prompt you to call me. So what position was that that prompt you to call me? All right. Well, there's this Amazon account okay. where you work four days and then you're off three and okay. you get an average yearly of 78,000. Okay. So you, you have a, you, you have an Amazon, a Amazon account, uh, four days on three days off. Uh, yearly average is what now? 78,000. 
78,000. So 78,000 break down to like how much a week? 1,500, 1,500 average weekly grows. Okay. And you get a $5,000 sign up box. Okay. So the Amazon account, uh, is this uh, delivery uh, in a in a sleeper or uh or a day cap it's a sleeper okay and you say this is four days on three days off yes yeah, either sunday through wednesday or wednesday through saturday okay be and, the work schedule okay so how much how much experience do one need for that position for this position yeah Three months or more. All right, so three months or more for for that position. Where where is this position located at? Out out of what area? So the actual the so onboarding would be in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. But you would operate you would operate in Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, Michigan, Wisconsin, Missouri, New Jersey, Maryland, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Delaware, Tennessee, New York, and Pennsylvania. Okay, but you don't let, go to New York City. Okay, so let me let me let me bring that back a little bit. So we so this position for the Amazon account that's based out of uh, Columbus, Ohio, is where I would be leaving from. That that would be my base of operation. But my areas of coverage will be up in the northeast as well. Do we are are we are we force um are we force dispatch to go up in the northeast if we don't like to? Um wherever the uh you don't get to pick and choose the loads on this on this one. Uh, that would be independent contractor work. Okay. On that side. Okay. Okay. You just have to live in a hundred miles of Cleveland. Okay. 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 So, uh, will we be able to take the will we be able to take the trucks home with with this uh with this account? Yes, sir. You can. Drivers can take the truck home. Okay, so I so of course I stay out of Cleveland, but I'll be onboarding in Columbus. So how would you guys get me to Columbus? Would I have to would I have to drive myself there? No, we can get you a bus ticket. Try again with the bus ticket, bro. <laughs> so let's let me let me let me let me. So if I decide to get there myself without the bus, would you guys reimburse me? Would we reimburse you? Yes. We 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 can. Uh, we do have the opportunity for reimbursement per mile, set per mile, and they do an average. They'll do like a Google Maps from your home to the location of onboarding and figure out what that reimbursement will be and it gets put on your paycheck, your first paycheck. Would you guys reimburse me for the for the vehicle that I will rent to get me there to Columbus? We would reimburse you up to the cost of a bus ticket, whatever that would be. Jeez. How, how long have you only how, work how long have two hundred eight days a year? How so how long ahead. how long have uh, JB Bun? I mean JB Bun. God damn. How long has JB Hunt been in existence? Like like how long have you? How long? Sixty have years. All right. So sixty years. Mega carrier. JB Hunt. One of the. I, I'd say JB Hunt is like considered one of the top five or maybe top ten mega carriers. Uh, to work for, right? Why do you guys go the cheap route by putting people on a Greyhound to come to your orientation? I, I was always curious about that. I never understood mega carriers for for as long as they've been in existence and all the money that they be making, but yet they choose the cheap route, like putting one on a bus to come and 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 uh to come and 
or go to orientation, especially for a veteran driver such as myself. I was just curious about that. Uh, could could you answer that for me or no? No, well, we. If you live seven hundred miles or greater distance, we we can get you a plane ticket. Mm -hmm. But it's just our current, our current. I mean, I can't speak for sixty years of existence and why mm -hmm. we put you on a bus versus a plane ticket. Well, okay. But I can just tell you that if you live seven hundred miles or more, we can get you a plane ticket. Okay. Well, I, you know, like I said, I, I was I was just curious to know. I mean, I, I could drive, like I said, you know, Columbus ain't nothing but two hours away from me, so I, I can drive there. But for, you know, for a person to get, just go and, you know, grab, you know, grab a rental car, take a two-hour drive down to, you know, Columbus, and then take the car back to the rental place, you know, you figure maybe about a day or something like that. It shouldn't be too much of an issue than trying to put somebody on a bus. And instead of instead of two hours, it's ending up being five hours just from Cleveland to Columbus. I I I just didn't didn't get it. All right. Um. All right. So this uh. So this is W two company driver. Uh. What's what's the benefits that you guys offer with this position? Yes. Yeah, so, and um, and I understand your, your sentiments there. You know, the the inefficiency of of the whole bus thing at times is is uh, is not not a fun not a fun conversation. Yeah, it, um, yeah. I to agree. speak to, to speak on the uh, benefits, thirty mm -hmm. days um, from your start date, which would be your orientation date. Um, you would you would be qualified for medical. And then dental invasion kick in in ninety days. Okay. From your start date. All right. So as far as uh as far as medical goes, is that full coverage covered by you guys, mm -hmm. or or half coverage covered between you and the driver? So, um, it's a it's a it's a plan mm -hmm. as far as that goes, where you you buy into it every week. So mine is sixty something dollars a week. And of course, if you have a family, you can put members on there. You know, it depends on which plan you go with. And, um, I'm with Blue Cross Blue Shield on that side. Okay. But uh, I I pay for the low deductible just in case if something were to happen. But that's the I thought process on it. Okay. Um, okay. I pay for the, the I pay a higher premium for a lower deductible. Okay. And Melba. Oh, the doctor. I'm studying for the healthcare exam too uh, later on this summer. But the health, the deductible just means that would be more money out of your pocket up front. Well, I'd rather just pay a higher premium every week, and uh, if something were to happen, I'd have a lower initial cost that I would have to meet. Gotcha. All right. So drivers. Uh. So as for home time, we're out four days, back home three. Uh. We get paid every. We get paid every Friday, right? This this is every week. Yes, and you get paid weekly. Okay. Um, as far as the as far as the equipment for this uh type of account, what what are we put in and what are we driving? Oh, uh, it's gonna be an automatic international. Okay. Trust me. Uh, what's the governance speed? Um, our fleets are. Uh, we strive to be four years or less old in age okay. on our fleets. Okay, what's what's the governing speed of the truck, though? Oh, on that side, I think it's going to go 65. Okay, okay. Driver facing cameras? No, sir. None of those. Okay, and of course, you already told me what the lanes would be. It would be anywhere from Columbus, a little bit of down south, further up north, with no New York City, right? Right, no New York City. Do we do we get paid extra for running the Northeast? Though? No New York City. You might have to go to like upstate New York or something. Okay, but do we get paid any extra for going up in the, uh, into the Northeast? Oh, uh, let me give you the pay breakdown. It's sixty-one cents per mile, average seventeen hundred ninety-eight miles a week. You're going to do seventeen dollars per stop. You're going to average twenty-three stops a week. Average weekly gross of fifteen hundred. Average annual gross of seventy-eight thousand. 
one week of training and we will pay you $1,200 for the week of training. And then you're either going to be on a Sunday through Wednesday or Wednesday through Saturday schedule. And the account will do their best to give the due preference um, as far as the, but the driver must be flexible. It's a 75% of it's night driving. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't know what you thought there on that, but it would be between 20 hundred hours and 4 a.m. So you get, you'll be getting an early morning start on that side, either mm-hmm. late evening or early morning. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's interesting to know. Um, all right. And I, did, did you mention anything about a sign on bonus? <laughs> yes, sir. There's a $5,000 sign on bonus. How is it paid out? Paid out five hundred dollars week one, five hundred dollars week two, a thousand at week four, a thousand at week eight, a thousand at ninety days, a thousand at one hundred twenty days. All right, awesome. Um, there is a there there is a, another question that I like to ask uh, right quick before I let you go, uh, and this is pertaining to the um, the pre you know the pre employment uh, drug screening. Uh, do you guys? My first question is. Do you what 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 is the drug screening? Is it is it hair follicle or urine or both? It's a hair test. So they give you like a they take a quarter size of the hair sample, and then it's a, a DOT urine test. Okay. Now, uh, second question to segue off of the urine and the uh, hair follicle. So, being that the urine is DOT. Uh, recognized and the hair follicle is not if one passes the urine but not passes the hair follicle they still won't be able to qualify to come and work for JB Hunt that's part of that's that's part of a part of a company policy am I correct is correct on that Yes, you have to pass both the non-DOT hair test and the DOT urine test to come aboard. Okay. Now, to segue off that question, what if somebody had, let's say somebody has a negative uh, urine test prior to, you know, coming with you guys, and now they are in the the clearinghouse uh, SAP program. Do you guys... uh, uh, will bring guys on that's in the SAP program or no? You would have to have completed the SAP uh, process prior to onboarding with us. Okay. Okay. Cool. Very good. All right. So of course you guys do hair follicles. A lot of, it's a a lot of talking in a lot of Facebook groups and in a lot of forums that a lot of people is not too keen on, on a hair follicle test because of the way that, you know that the that the clinic administrate the test, especially for people that got like like dreadlocks and stuff like that. So I mean, it don't bother me because I don't smoke weed, so it really doesn't matter. But <laughs> you know, I I I, I gotta ask. I, I I had to ask. Um. All right then. Cool. So oh, no this. Worries. All right. So cool. So this uh position is out of uh columbus ohio is for the jb i mean um not jb is for amazon uh so this will be like an amazon specific position i.e uh local or regional or how people want to consider it's a, it's, it's, it's a regional uh dedicated, contract dedicated. Service. thank you yes, thank sir. you thank you uh regional dedicated with uh with amazon Okay, well, thank you very much, sir. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I will definitely take this information back with me, and I will I will put it in uh I'll, I'll put it in my forums and let you know let people know that you know that that you have this position available. All right. Well, do you need my direct contact? You put that in the form too. Oh, okay, <laughs> awesome. I, I I tell you, what, Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to miss me when I'm not around Come dive in my ocean and my push